Okay, so for those of you that were not here, I want to go over. Um, I want to go over a couple things to remind you of what are parallel lines. All right. So now when we're not making our drawing and we're thinking about what is what is the main important thing for us to remember about parallel lines. Okay, you ready? They're the same. Yeah. Ready? Okay. Yes. They're the same. What? What do they have the same of? Slope. 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 Very good. So therefore, when I'm looking at parallel lines, I know that parallel lines have the same slope, okay? So what this question is asking is they say, if I'm given one equation, find a line that is parallel to it. So therefore, the first thing we need to know is, what is the equation of a line that we're going to write? And this is what we call the slope-intercept form line. So any times I ask for you to not write on a bottle, but I ask you to write what is the equation of a line, you're going to want to write down this slope-intercept form. All right. And why this will help you out is because then you will know that m is your slope and b is your y-intercept. So this helps you determine what m and b are. Now a lot of you might say, well, what are x and y? Well, x represents any x point, x coordinate of a point on the line, and y represents any x coordinate of a point of any other point on the line. So these x and y's represent a point on the line. So if I was going to look at this equation and I say, well, what is it I know and what is it I don't know, right? So first of all, do I know what the slope is? And essentially for a new problem, you do not know what the slope, well, you do know what the slope is because it's parallel, right? So they have to have the same slope. So negative one third x, actually, let's just write that. Then the next thing is, do we know what the y-intercept is? Now, this is where a lot of students make their mistake. And they say, oh, the y-intercept is, oh, I didn't even write it. What's your one was? What's your problem? Say, y-intercept is 6. That's supposed to be a 6. Okay. So a lot of students say, well, the y-intercept is 6. Well, you're right. The y-intercept for this equation is 6. But remember, we're trying to find a new line, right? A parallel line. Parallel lines don't have the same y-intercept. So therefore, we do not know what the y-intercept is, so I'm going to be put plus b. Now, you might say, well, what can we plug in for x and y? Remember, x and y represent coordinate points on that line. Well, it says, the problem says, I want to find a, a parallel line, that means it has the same slope, that goes through this point. That means you can write in these coordinate points for your x and your y. So now I have my y, my x, and my slope, but I still don't know what the y-intercept is. So now I can simplify this. So therefore I have negative 6 equals a positive 1 third plus b. Then to find what my answer b is, I have to subtract 1 third. Okay, so therefore you have negative 6 minus 1 third. Remember, to get this to be a fraction, this is over 1. I have to multiply by 3 over 3. So it would be a negative 18 over 3 minus 1 third equals a negative 19 thirds. All right? FYI, for your quiz, you're not going to have a fraction like this. You just need to make sure you know how to subtract and, and get your B. So once you solve for B, my final equation now is Y equals my same slope but I do not have the same y-intercept. Instead of 6, it's negative 19 over 3. So instead of writing plus a negative, we can just write minus 19 over 3. Does anybody have any questions over this? Not for Except for the rude students in the back. Yes, sir. That does not require me a response. Anybody have any questions, though, on what I did, at least the process? I know the fraction is going to you know, trip a lot of you up, but don't let the fraction you know, confuse you. Just remember how we solve for those in the beginning. The main important thing is you use the exact same slope, then you plug in your x and y as your point, and you find your b. Once you know what your b is, you plug that into back into your equation. So you plug your b in, and you plug your slope in. And that's it. Right, Lacey, for who is not here? Yeah. Uh, yeah.